to H.R. 3921, offered by Mr. Bouchon. And the amendment will be considered as read. The staff will distribute the amendment. And the gentleman from Indiana is recognized for five minutes in support of his amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm offering this amendment to the Healthy Kids Act, which would repeal the moratorium on physician-owned hospital expansion and new construction. The reason we are here today reauthorizing the S-CHIP program is to ensure that kids have access to high-quality health coverage and medical care. As a physician, I believe that patients should be able to access the health care provider of their choice without the federal government arbitrarily picking winners and losers. Yet there is a provision in federal law that limits not only patient choice but also patient access, including for kids, simply because a hospital has physician ownership. My amendment will change that situation. I want to debunk common criticisms of physician-owned hospitals. In 2015, a Harvard study published in the British Medical Journal found the following, and I quote, we found no evidence that physician-owned hospitals systematically avoid poorer patients or those from ethnic or racial minority groups. Physician-owned hospitals also performed equally to non-physician-owned hospitals on a wide array of measures of quality of care, costs, and payments for care. These findings indicate a need to re-examine existing public policies that target all hospitals with physician owners. And, Mr. Chairman, I'd like unanimous consent to submit that study to the record. Without objection. I would also note that repealing the moratorium doesn't open the floodgates to new construction and expansion of existing facilities. It merely can make it a decision for states to decide on their own. According to the National Conference of State Legislators, Legislatures, 34 states currently maintain some form of Certificate of Need program. Only 14 states, including Indiana, <coughs> have no Certificate of Need. I raise this important issue today to bring attention to the fact that competition is being stifled and, and patients are being denied opportunity to choose the hospital of their choice. Furthermore, it seems interesting that it's okay for hospitals to uh, employ physicians, but doctors are prevented from expanding or opening new hospitals, especially since a recent Stanford study found that, in fact, it is hospital ownership of physicians that drastically increases the probability that a patient will go to that hospital for procedures. That sounds like self-referral to me, and ironically, that is another one of the debunked criticisms of physician-owned hospitals. I'd like to submit that, uh, unanimous consent to submit that study to the record. Without objection. While I will be withdrawing my amendment, I want to reinforce that this is an important issue that I believe the committee and Congress needs to address. So with that, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to withdraw well, my Mr. amendment. If, if the gentleman will, will well, reserve gentleman on yield. withdrawing the amendment. Will the gentleman, yield? The, the gentleman, gentleman, will gentleman from, yield? I will yield to Dr. Burgess. Before. Um, I respect the fact that the gentleman has decided to withdraw the amendment, but I, I hope that we can resolve this issue because, as the gentleman pointed out, a lot of problems in the Affordable Care Act, but one of the most egregious was doctors can be owned by hospitals, but doctors can't own hospitals. I mean, what's up with that? Why am I prevented from entering into a normal business practice by virtue of the fact that I have a professional degree from a medical school? I mean, that's, it, is, it is completely backward. Invoke the pride of ownership. When I owned a facility, when my dad owned a facility, we wanted it to be the very best that it could be. There is a fundamental problem with the way this is structured. I thank the gentleman from Indiana for bringing it up. I hope this is not the last we're going to hear of it uh, because this is a problem that needs to be fixed. And I'll yield back to the gentleman from Indiana. Anyone else on the Republican uh, side? Gentlelady from